What's up, Terrifics? I'm Michael Arts here live in New York City at the War 4 Planet of the Apes premiere. It is unbelievable. I'm on the red carpet, and this is Be Terrific Spotlight Offset, and we're having a lot of fun. It's going to be a great night. We're going to bring you a lot of great action, the actors, and a whole lot more. At Be Terrific TV on all social media. And don't forget, you want to join our Slack chat 24 hours a day, seven days a week, real time, 24 hour real time conversation. It's free, it's easy. All you have to do is send us an email and keep the positive feedback coming when you do too. Connect at beterrific.com. Now, War for Planet for the Apes comes out this Friday, July 14th, and it is the third installment in the reboot. There were five original films, there are three now that have been in the reboot, and this one is unbelievable. The CGI is unreal. They basically took the actors, put them in full body suits, put helmets or headsets on them, and they also put sensors all over their bodies. They had them do all the acting and then made the most lifelike apes you've ever seen in your life. It is unbelievable. Now, this story takes place in the jungle, and it's all about the war for the planet for the apes. We're going to find out a wow. lot more. Hey, how are you? Good. That was how perfect. That was perfect time. I'm great. This is Alex. Alex Bonovic, yes. Yes, and you're in the film. You play Winter. I play Winter, yes. I'm, I'm not going to give away what happens we to can't Winter. can't give away anything. No. You, but I think what's interesting is how you got into acting because you didn't start out as an actor. No. You, you were a boxer. Yeah. You were doing pretty well. Yeah. And then you got injured. I got injured, but I also played in a band for a long time since I was, so I was doing boxing and playing in a band. I was playing in a band in, in my hometown of Winnipeg, Manitoba, and um, they, uh, an act, a casting director asked if I wanted to audition for something. I said yes, and, uh, and it went off from there. That's pretty spectacular. You go from being a boxer, yeah. having probably no aspirations to be an actor, no, but... No, not really. I'm, I'm a, I mean, I'm a big goofball regardless, but when it came my way, I, I liked trying things, and, and this kind of really worked out, and I fell in love with the craft. What was the first thing you worked on? A movie called Heads with John Cryer. I played a gay butler, and it was insinuated, I had three scratches on my face, and it was insinuated that I had sex with greyhound dogs. Now, I... Wow. Yeah. And then I said, I got to do something else because I don't want to be the guy just known as that. I would think so. So you, you were cast because you're a good looking guy, probably. Wow. And then and then did you have to learn how to act? Well, yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed it. And I saw the people that really took um, took the classes and really kind of dove, like dove into it. And I decided to study a lot. I There's a fantastic acting coach in New York and L.A., um, Larry Moss, who I just followed and, and learned from people around me and I just really wanted to tell stories and that was the biggest gift that they gave me is that they gave me an outlet to tell stories. Was acting school hard or getting coached hard? I would imagine it's a very hard grueling process. Yeah, the, I mean it's about breaking breaking down and telling the story within and, and you know one of my favorite acting teachers Larry Moss said to me like you know like there's an orchestra inside you and you need to let it play and that means being as vulnerable as you can and being as powerful as you can and and sometimes that can be scary even for a big dude so um, he showed me that line and I really appreciate it I, I got to imagine it's it's got to be hard to learn that and kind of to give in and, and and give of yourself and just kind of trust the process that's true but if you have great people in front of you that are that are leading you um, it's not as hard as you think I mean I trusted them and and you know in Van I grew up in Vancouver and Winnipeg and and I became around people that really guided me and I trusted and I got lucky in that aspect. Now, War for Planet of the Apes is a movie that was shot mostly CGI, which means right. that you had to wear motion capture suits, headsets, sensors all over Cameras your body. Right in front. Cameras right in front. Yeah. And I imagine that's a hard way to act, um, especially because you don't have the scenery around you. I mean, a lot of things are green screen today, but I think when you have some scenery, it kind of helps paint the picture, right. it kind of gets you into character. How hard is it to do motion capture like this in this way? Well, we had a big portion of the film in the environment. That's how advanced we are. Like, we were in the forest, and there was like 150 cameras surrounding us, and so we had some moments in the environment and then in the studio. Um, but it is tough, because usually a costume, when you're acting, you're literally going, okay, this makes me feel tough, and I can put this watch on, I like this this thing, and like that whole aspect. And um, with this, we didn't have it. We just had the cameras, we had more obstacles than anything. So it was about using the imagination, and that's where Matt Reeves and Andy Serkis came in and really kind of helped the rest of the team and guided us and, and really dropped us into the characters that we had to be. We had like a month of ape camp that we had to be a part of. What is ape camp ape like? Ape camp, right? Yeah. At first, that's what we were going, oh my God, it's going to be fun. We're going to be going to ape camp. But it was, the first week was the emotionality. It was about dropping in and getting rid of 
insecurities that a male, ha that, that, that a human has. And so we really, Andy, uh, um, Terry Nority was the one that really guided us and taught everyone of dropping in and just kind of being, just being. And then we kind of moved on to the physicality after that. So as an actor, that teaching that Terry gave us has given me so much more growth. Even though it's motion capture, I feel like you have a lot in your body language that you had to express, but also, and specifically in your face. Right. And I would imagine it's hard to kind of act or react like an ape would. And that's part of probably what was part of ape camp. But what was that like? Well, th that's th the interesting thing. Weta, who was the people that did the motion capture, they really t has, have taken that technology to the next level. So all we had to do was act. And, we, and yes, we had to act like a primate, but the emotionality came from somewhere within us. So we didn't have to like play that. We, had, we just had to be. And then they took care of the, the, almost like the rice paper visual of putting the ape over that. But each ape looks like the person who plays them. They really do. They do a phenomenal job, Weta. We know Weta well. We knew Sir Richard uh, Thomas, right? Yeah. And, and he, Taylor, rather. Right. Uh, we've interviewed him several times. Right. And uh, Lord of the Rings and all of that exactly. stuff. I mean, they make the magic. But were you shocked when you saw it? I was blown away. I was like, I couldn't believe that was me. But then again, I was like, yeah, that's me. Like, I can see that. Like, I remember there was one part in one of the scenes where somebody made a noise behind me, and I just kind of glanced a little bit in the scene, and I, and I saw it. That's how, that's how, like, they capture everything a part of the performance. And it's a testament to their work that allows us to, to be what we did. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. They, they did a phenomenal job. I want to remind everybody, it comes out this Friday, July 14th. July 14th. Great film. Uh, are you a hockey fan growing up in uh, Winnipeg? Totally, totally a hockey fan. Jets? Jets. <laughs> what position? Down, Jets. All right, I'm a Ranger fan. I'm oh, a New Yorker. Oh, man, New Yorker. Well, we, we got some work to do. <laughs> yes, you you we, got well, we both do. Winnipeg, yeah, we both do, but Winnipeg's got some work to do. The Rangers seem like they're making some good moves, right? Right, they are, they are, and I I love the fact that Winnipeg is uh, they got their franchise back. That was the big thing for us. That's huge. Yeah. That is huge. And you guys wore the John Ferguson jerseys the year after the Rangers wore That's the right. John Ferguson. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Nice work. Thank you very much. Thanks. I love those jerseys. Yeah. I I have a Mitchell and Ness Rangers do John really? Ferguson. Yeah. You have a jersey? I do. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, it's 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 a prized possession. Wow, I'm gonna go rob your house. Okay. <laughs> uh, tighten up the security. Note yeah, to self. Yeah, I think uh, so. I'll just ape my way in. Is that is that your best ape face? I think you could do pretty better. Pretty much. There you that's go. All I got. No, that's great. That, was, that, was that looks great. a lot like winter. That is winter. Everybody's got to pay a lot of attention to winter. Winter plays a pivotal role in the film. Yeah. That, again, it's a very complex role, and um, I. I was gifted it, and and uh, and, and Matt Reeves, I, I thank him like to the heavens, and that was a very complex, hard character to play, and I and I'm, I'm fortunate enough to do it. What's next for you? Um, I have a film coming out with Keanu Reeves called Siberia. Um, I'm on a show right now called Dirk Gently. I'm doing six episodes up for BBC America, and I'm hopefully going to be going back to third season of Van Helsing on Sci-Fi. Awesome! Congratulations on everything. Before I let you go, real quick, what kind of music you like? Metal, man. Metallica. So you had long hair? Oh, I had the hair. I had the flip. <laughs> and I have the horns. Right, we'll, let, we'll, we'll let everybody uh, uh, li enjoy in their head to enter Sandman. There you go. Is that your favorite song? No. Which one? I would say Master of Puppets. There you go. That's a good song. Yeah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate <laughs> that it. That was a great interview. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Much.